Welcome to DTV. I'm joined by Jake Spencer following the uh, loss against the Saints. And uh, Jake, first game under Neil Craig. Uh, what was it like for, for you today? Um, oh, it was a bit different, obviously, to uh, to Mark Neil, but um, you know, he's just he's really just working on getting the boys up for this week and and uh, just you know working the ball offensively is a big key for the week. So uh, obviously weren't good enough today, but um, so it says a few improvements. So you know, that's all we can ask for, I guess, at the moment. Yeah. Disappointing day again. I mean, the, the wind didn't come, but some good signs thereabouts. And final quarter, you kept at it and uh, didn't give up. Um, how did you sort of see the game? Yeah, it's just uh, like I said before. When we, we we're not getting the chains with with the ball together, it just makes it really hard to defend. And it just always seems that you know we're working for everything we get, and we just let away too many easy goals and, and too many contests where they just they just won it too easy. So. Uh, we, we really want to be a hard team to play against and, and that's what we're really working for the next uh, 10 weeks. Yourself, uh, you finally got a, an opportunity today. You've been right on the cusp all year. E emergency in nearly every game except the two you played earlier in the year and the one against Collingwood. To finally get that chance today and to actually show a bit, you've got 15 touches and 27 hit-outs. Uh, how did you sort of uh, find coming back in the side? Uh, well, I, I think oh, this is probably the most confident I've been coming into a game. I was, I was uh, talking with Greasy uh, during the week that you know, this is probably the, the first real time coming into the side that I, I genuinely feel like I deserve a go. Um, usually I've been coming in obviously because rush has gone down. I know it's the case this week, but I really felt like I was putting my hand up, like you said, the last four weeks. So I was coming in the game confident, and, and yeah, I guess, you know, especially the way that their ruck would play, there's probably they sit off and, and head in the back line. So it's probably a bit easy to get a kick today. And, and I was just fortunate I got on the end of a few, yeah. Now that this game's been played, how do you feel as opposed to entering this game? Where's your confidence at following this one now? Um, oh, yeah, it's OK. I've probably just waiting now for the tribunal because I think I've got a bit of a nervous wait now. So that's probably probably the only thing I'm really thinking about at the moment. So, uh, you know, fingers crossed, you know, I'll, I'll get away with it. So. What about uh, just, you know, winning a bit more of the ball and just your, your ruck work? Something you've really been working on at Casey? Ah, uh, yeah, definitely. Um, it's probably a bit different the last couple of weeks. I've really been trying to get my, my forward game up and going. And obviously today I, was, I played pretty much just all the game in the ruck. But um, yeah, I mean, this is obviously I'm in my sixth year now. So, you know, it's probably the strongest I've been and the, and the fittest. So, you know, if it's now or never, I guess, for me. So, um, you know, I've got to start showing that signs of improvement or, or, you know, especially with Gorney up and going at the moment, you know, there's competition and, it, and it's tough. So. What's it like being in that position? You, you, you're well aware of it yourself, um, and you know that it's a, you know it's a pretty important time for yourself. Uh, how do you deal with that? Just as you're trying to establish yourself. Oh, oh, it's a good thing. You know, you, you need that competition because you know, for me personally, off with Mark Jamar or Shane Ruckman, you know, I know I've got to play well every week. Otherwise, you know, I'm not going to get a game. So, you know, it's really good. It drives drives all three of us to get better, and, and I reckon this year, especially having all three of us fit and healthy, you know, it, it's helping us all, and we're all getting better. So. Uh, it's only a positive for the club, and, and like, like I said, it's positive for me because I'm always trying to get better, and, and you know, I've got to got to play well every week. So, what's this week been like? You, you've been through it before, yeah. um, but uh, you know it's happened again. Um, just from your own perspective, how's yeah. it been this week? Oh, it's never it's never a nice feeling. You know, personally, you feel a lot very guilty. You know, um, that's two coaches now that I guess we're in, in turn a little bit responsible for. So. You know, it's always a bit disappointing, but you, like, you can't dwell on it for too long. Otherwise, you're just going to go nowhere. So, you know, it's football industry these days. You've got to move on quickly, and, and Neely's even said that himself. So, um, you know, the boys I thought did really well to keep the spirits up and and uh, and move on reasonably quickly. Yeah. All right, Jake. Well, uh, good chatting. Well done on your game today, and uh, best luck to, uh, at the tribunal and uh, for the rest of the season. No worries. Thanks very much.